Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Salvation Lee. We're back with another video, guys. And guys, I am pumped for this one, man. It's the first Learn From The Pros video of the year for Modern Warfare. And today, we're talking about Simp. We're talking about FaZe and how they play Search and Destroy on Gunrunner. And I cannot be more pumped to make this thing happen because I've been waiting for this meta to kind of start to iron itself out so we can get some good information from these gameplays and figure things out just for Modern Warfare. But in this video, we'll be going through a lot of themes of Search and Destroy and Call of Duty as a whole and talking about the basics of how to be a great search and destroy player and i think there's a lot of really good examples that simp and phase show us against dallas empire on gun runner so it's gonna be a good video i'm excited i don't want this video to be too long so let's just get right into it because we've got a lot to talk about so the first clip's a few rounds in this match first of all you have to know that they had to restart the match for example in the first round it's actually 2-0 dallas because they had to restart so that's why the score feels a little bit weird but that's kind of irrelevant from the point basically in this round phase is on defense and simp does a great job of communicating his position his positioning and how he's looking and when you're playing search you have to understand where your teammates are looking you don't always have to have the perfect idea of where they are but you do have to have an idea of where they're watching and I think a lot of teams focus too much on like calling out where they are instead of calling out where they're looking. So it causes confusion and just miscommunications that cause death. So at the end of the day, what Sim does here is he calls out, yo, I got, I got bathrooms, I got bathrooms. Then he says, I've got your left side of blue because they know somebody's back crate somewhere and does a great job of communicating that. It allows them to play forward to the map, get the pick they need in this 3v3 to give them a chance to win the round. So let's watch it. Okay, two, two A side. I'm, I'm watching bathrooms. Uh, yeah, try to. I have bathroom, I have bathroom. Yeah, yeah, clear, clear, clear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Damn it, dude. Talk to you, talk to you above you. I'm gonna fly on me, bro. I have your left, I have your left. You could, you might be able to lay it, but I don't know. Top crate, top crate. Yeah, top crate. Really? Yeah, they're low. What, what pinch, 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 full pinch, full pinch. I can't kill yeah. that guy, I can't kill him. You wanna kill this guy crate or no? So a few rounds later, Major Maniac's the only guy left. It's a 4v1, and normally in a 4v1, you just wait it out, try to kill yourself, jump off a corner to prevent them from getting extra points or whatever it may be. They say, yo, I think Shotzi's on streaks. And so Major Maniac hunting Shotzi to try to get him off those streaks. It was a nice bit of communication, a nice bit of awareness of the opposing team situation. And so for him to be able to kill Shotzi here is a big time play. So let's watch that real quick and we can move on to the next one. I think Shotzi's on streaks. Is that Shotzi? Actually, I don't know. I think this is huge. Get this on. Just don't save it, save it. They're trying to get him to go. Nice, nice. 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 So in the next round, Simp gets a pick on top of crates and immediately his instant reaction is to go back and watch flank and help his teammates. Set up in a place where he might be able to get a pick, you know, prevent a hard flank, something that would be devastating for their push and it ends up working out perfectly where he's able to snag one mid and get the final kill. What's cool about it is that it's an immediate instinct for him. He gets the pick and then backs up to watch flank. In a situation with how this map works, the flanks are pretty dangerous, especially with dead silence now. That's what Sim saw, the potential of danger for his squad. So he backs up, he calls out, yo, I'm, I'm, I got flank, I'm watching your flank, and it ends up making the play to win the round. So let's watch that and we can talk about it. Top crate, top crate. Dead. Got one. Watch out, one shot apple. Pipes, one shot pipes. Turn it over, turn it over, turn it over. Yeah, one shot pipes, one shot pipes. Last smoking in. I've been trying, I've been trying. Nice fucking shots. I've been trying, I've been trying. Yeah, 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 it's really important for a team in a high pressure search and destroy match like this to have that awareness, to have that, to have that team awareness, to have that positioning and have an idea of where these guys are going to be. And having a better idea of the lines outside of your teammates gives you a better chance to predict where they're coming from. And it's just so important for Simp to have that instinct to watch the flank like that, back up and play smart. It was really, really great play. And I think we all can implement that more into our team strats moving forward. So this next play is also another positional thing that Simp does so, so well. So he pushes up top crate and he's just watching their green entrance here on Gunrunner. And they end up getting a pick. He finds one as well. And then immediately throws that nade and bounces out of there. He gets out of there to play his life and to help his teammates back at A watch cross. And again, fantastic team play. He doesn't waste his life. He doesn't give himself up easily. He gets the pick and gets out and plays his life, changes his positioning and goes and assists his teammates for the other side of the map, which is a really, really smart play. So let's watch it right now and we can talk about it again. I have to cross the bomb though. 
Yeah. Here on B. I got one, I got one. Nice. Don't be, don't be. Dead. Nice, dead. Can I shoot you? He's throwing grenade! I'm back in a bunch of you. He could be our side A. Don't be angled for me, guys. Gather in low. I have to cross. I have to cross for me. No, he, I think he already might have crossed. It was Krim, I think. So that's just a really great play. So then also, just a few seconds later, he pushes back up to top crate and like he asks, yo, watch my left. I'm going to watch right. So they got both sides of crate taken care of because they know that bombs probably on this side of the map or somebody who has bombs on this side of the map. Then they get the pick call bombs down and make the place it's just a really really great sequence from phase and from simp so let's watch it inside vent room yo he's in vent room somewhere or somewhere over there on that side of the map i'm, sorry, I'm getting top crate i'm sorry. i got him i got close nice, nice. Nice. good for krim yeah. backed up yeah illy's in green and krim is I'm getting top crater, MC. Left somewhere uh, but i wish you right then i cleared all day i don't see him you want to watch my left mc i killed clay a side he was backing up you on green i think here, there, I hear one me. vent room. I hear one by vent room. Are you in vent? Yeah, I'm laying down in vent. Okay, I have a. I have a bomb. He's oh, probably trying to get him off it now. Oh. Nice left. Nice. Bomb down, bomb down right there. This guy was cramped at yeah, AR for sure. I have fuel. Target spotted. Nice, let's fucking go. Good shit. Shut the temple. So again, man, the communication between their directions of line of sight and how they play those picks. They call out bombs down, then they get to read the last guys there and get the pick. It's just a great play overall from a team. And you need that level of communication, that level of positioning, and that level of patience as a team in this game especially to be successful in search and destroy. And Simp and company are doing it as good as anyone. So this next play is a nice dead silence usage from Simp. Again, now that dead silence is nasty, you can make some pretty nice plays with it. So Simp pops dead silence, pushes up map, and tries to ask for information. He's trying to figure out where these guys are at so that he can most effectively use his dead silence. But he used it originally really, really well because they were in a 5v4. And if you're going to win this round, you're going to have to make some type of play, get a pick, get out of this little trap in the back of the map. They barely had any positioning as a team at that point. And so he tried to make a play with dead silence and it works out pretty well. Let's watch it. Oh, I, think he's I can look at me and play with dead silence. He's still water on this, on this fucking jump up. The, on the window jump up. I'm making play with dead silence. Hold on. Uh, can they be mid? Can they be mid? I don't think uh, so. They could be pipes. Maybe like left side pipes. Yeah, he's, I don't. I'm sure. I think he's, he's on, on the rock. Tank. He's on the fucking yeah, rock. Yeah, on the rock. Yo, just top left, top left right. So again, man, I'm going to keep emphasizing the communication because it's just that important in this game because of how many lines of sight there are and places that guys can be like this ain't frequency search anymore. This is modern warfare and there's a lot that goes on and for their ability to pinpoint enemies positions based off their lines of sight is what's really, really important and impressive. And that's what pros are so good at is figuring out in their minds based off what lines of sight they currently have what power positions or what average positions the guys very likely will be in and they piece it together pretty quick and that's why sim's able to make the plays he's able to make in this game and in that round specific as an individual and as a team you have to get better at that process of elimination of where these guys could be so that it helps your anticipation in game so in this ninth round sim is a nice little 2v2 clutch and again man it's pinpointing positioning having an idea of where they're going to be you watch how simp clears the gas tank he thinks they might be at the back of the map and then he gets the call that they're over by pipes and then he's able to make the play so let's go check it out we feel Nice, so first of all, that's just disgusting. The shots from Simper are insane. So, you know, pro tip, having godly shot, and you're going to be a lot better at the game. Nah, but I mean, again, man, his map awareness comes to play and it wins him another round. He plays patiently, gets into the dominant position late in a round and is able to utilize it to his advantage. Truly does make the clutch. That gives him the advantage in the game. Empire was already up 2-0 before they had to restart. This is round 11 and Simp plays a little bit slower towards A side, but he hears the call outs that they're going towards B, so he moves that way. One of his teammates calls out, yo, I gave up mid. So Simp watches mid, throws in a nade eventually, and then pushes up towards pipes to get some positioning near bomb. Because if you control pipes, that B bomb is so much easier to control. So he pushes up towards the, the pipes, he pushes up towards the pipes, and then makes a play with dead silence. And eventually they win the round. So let's just watch most of this round, and then we can wrap it up at the end. Uh, it's 5-5, five, 5-5. Five, five. Oh, five, five. All right, oh, I'm yeah. looking at Vevrim. Do you have my A? Can they push I, I have it, I have it. Do you know how to shoot instantly then? I'll Chris, can yeah, they push out of like short? Instantly whenever right. you get the door. Too, what like, door? Like, 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 the right door? Like, yeah, no, watch the left. Like, Zig? Like, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'll try and watch my mic. I'll tell you when I hear him. I'll shoot you now, I'll shoot you now, okay? Okay. 
Wait, I can't, I can't. Can. Uh, I'm shaking it. Look at that middle. I can't, I can't see. Yo, no, he's on me, 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 he's on me,